Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to part 12 of Let's Play The Sims 2. So, I think today what we're gonna go ahead and do, well, tonight actually, is invite Cassandra Groth out and uh, break up with her. Um, if you guys watched the last part, you all know that uh, she pretty much ruined the whole part. So, it's definitely time to break up with Cassandra Goth. Uh, and I think we're going to have Amanda kind of chill tonight and tomorrow head to the bakery and begin, I don't know, baking? <laughs> what else would she do? We need to make some simoleons is what I'm trying to say. We are a little broke right now. Well, not really, but I want to move out of this apartment and 3,000 simoleons is not going to cut it. And what is Amanda, or not Amanda, Rose up to? Okay, so she's up here dancing. Oh, and here's Michelle. Michelle Miller now. She's just like, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Literally me when I dance. I cannot dance. <laughs> All right. Oh, and I guess Amanda's like, you know what, Don? You go out. You have a good time. I won't even text you tonight. Uh, the girls are 2014. Let's go ahead and use the phone. Call taxi. And, uh, oops, wrong one. We actually need to call transportation. Invite us him to a community lot. There we go. We are going to invite Cassandra Goth. And look at all his lovers. Kaylin, uh, Nina, and Dina. But Cassandra Goth, I'm sorry, girl. You know, it just gotta go. So, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just invite her? Oh no, oh no, girl. I'm so. I think I invited the wrong person. Um. Oops, wrong phone call. My goodness. Oh, so annoying. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, girl. Um. We, we didn't want you to come. <laughs> Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Awkward. We're gonna stand this girl up. Alright. So we will obviously not invite Amanda or Rose. We don't even want Amanda to know that we are engaged. So yeah, the taxi will swing by shortly to pick you up. Okay, and Rose, it is almost midnight. Stop dancing up there on the rooftops and go to bed, girl. It is too... No, Dawn. Dawn, we have business to do tonight. We cannot be doing this. Go ahead and uh, change into your formal attire just so she knows we mean business. And we will meet up in downtown. We will meet up at... Um, <laughs> go to Rodney's hideout oh my gosh the description having trouble finding a date bring yourself down to Rodney's hideout pull up a chair and relax who knows maybe you'll find a new friend or even that new love you've been looking for all right so we're gonna bring our fiance here wearing um you know a nice tuxedo and pretty much just break up with her We'll be like, hey, it's the perfect place. You can find somebody else while we're here. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you at Rodney's hideout. Oh, sweet Jesus, it is Miss Crumplebottom. I freaking love Miss Crumplebottom. Everybody, like, hates her, but I love her because she is pretty much the dynamite. Everywhere she goes, something goes wrong. Everywhere she goes, she makes everybody in a bad mood. She is the dynamite of the sims so what we're gonna go ahead and do is um here's cassandra goth poor thing she's like oh he's so hot little does she know <laughs> we could propose marriage but we're here to actually break up um yeah so <laughs> i guess we'll irritate her a little bit uh, by arguing with her just, you know she's probably like why are we here at rodney's no big deal girl we're just here to uh you know the real question is, why is Miss Crumplebottom here dealing cards? Why is she here playing poker? She's the best. Oh, oh, this is awkward. Um, Brittany, yeah, we didn't mean to invite you out. If you could actually leave, that would be awesome. Oh, this is really awkward. E. Uh, Cassandra, can you come over here? Um... I'd appreciate it if you could you know, come come over here. We're going to ask her, uh, what do you fear? Imagine it'd be like Dawn breaking up with me. All right, Dawn, stop dealing cards. We have business to do. It's already late. Go do it. Did she order food? Or she just... Uh, she? What the hell? No, 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 no. That looks really good, though. <laughs> looks really good. <laughs> Okay, she found that attractive. 
She's like, all right, Dawn, enough is enough. You gotta go, Cassandra. Yes! It's working. It is working. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and argue a little bit more. If she could just take it already, that would be awesome. Instead of me constantly having to argue with her. All right, we're just gonna continue to argue and see what Miss Crumplebottom's doing. All right, is she winning is the real question. Could come over here and watch. Get it, Miss Crumplebottom, beat these two. We have business to do. All right, all right, Brittany. <gasps> Brittany can be our, okay, I hate having to do this. Okay, maybe I won't kiss her. Maybe I'll just flirt with her, but uh, it might make Cassandra kind of go over the edge and not like us anymore, so we're gonna try it. Brittany, thank you for coming out, actually. I appreciate it. Okay, Brittany, don't be creepy. Stop. We have stuff to do. Stop, Brittany. Brittany, stop. Brittany, stop! <laughs> yes, and it did it. Brittany's over here. You are simply the coolest sim I've met in ages. I'm going to spread the word to everyone I know. Dor, Dorn. Dor, 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 your reputation is going up. Cool, thanks. And yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Hate me, Cassandra. Hate me. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. There we go. We're going to go ahead and break up now. Oh, Cassandra, do not do that face, please, ever again. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, Cassandra. Oh. <laughs> it had to happen, girl. I'm sorry, but you could do better than Don, okay? Amanda could too, but he's our baby daddy, so we're just going to try to make it work with him. Consider yourself lucky. Okay, Brittany, I'm not going to listen to your dirty joke. Not now. Not ever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head home now. Um... It is time to head home. Very exciting. I will see you all probably in the morning. Alrighty, everybody, and good morning. Amanda made some pancakes, and they look so flipping good. Uh, Don actually has work in one hour, so I'm going to have him stop watching TV, which is extremely loud, by the way. If you could turn that off. Thank you. I'm going to have him go ahead and eat some pancakes before he heads to work. And also, today is Saturday, which means <laughs> there's a possibility we may just propose. I think it's a good idea. And ooh, 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 ooh. We need to get our logic cleaning, our logic and cleaning up uh, for us to get a promotion, which would be awesome since, uh, you know, promotions mean more money. And Amanda, I wanted her to bake a little bit today before we head to the bakery. So we're going to go ahead and make many group meals. We will make some, um, we'll make some cheesecake. And Rose, how about you go ahead and put those away as leftovers before your mom comes in? Oh, or not. She's already there. All right, and Dawn's off to work. Amanda, how about you go ahead and, like I said, make many group. Okay, well, Amanda, you need to move. All right, Rose, there you go. What's she gonna do? Oh, she wants to play catch with her mom. I guess, even though I want her to go make some cheesecake and all of that and berry, berry pies, you guys can go ahead and do your thing. So yeah, they're gonna go down there and play catch for a little while and then I'm probably gonna have Amanda work on some skills as well or not Amanda Rose my bad I'm probably gonna have Rose work on some skills maybe like her fire safety skill or something just to get those up while she's a child all right so yeah they're just gonna play for a little bit and did she do her homework I'm pretty sure she didn't so she's gonna be doing that go fishing do your homework we're gonna lock that one in all right just play catch for a little bit All right, oh, and I think, I think, think, think our bills are in our, I think there, it's, it's every Monday, actually, and not Saturday, but the land keeper is here. I can flirt with him and be like, listen, <laughs> what's his name? Shannon Twick. That is his name, Twick. <laughs> All right, Amanda, I'm going to have her go upstairs and begin making her cheesecake now. And we're going to make many group meals, a uh, cheesecake. 
and Rose, you come up here. Oh, yeah, she has two things of homework. Oh, yeah, get on up here and start doing your homework. And the maid's here now. And you're pretty sure it's not Kaylin anymore. It's actually Lucy. Huh, all right, well, I suppose. So, yeah, they're just going to go ahead and do this for a little bit. Fast forward on through. Culinary skills abound. A man has earned a cooking skill point. Yes! So, now we sit at a level 8 which is pretty good. We're getting close to mastering it. I'm hosting a weekend apartment gathering. Why not drop by and have fun with the neighbors? Um, maybe, yeah. I think it's on the rooftop, actually. Is it on the rooftop? It is. Uh, we might stop by and kind of chill with everybody, but we kind of know most of our neighbors, and for the most part, we don't really like them that much. We cheated on one of them. So it's probably not the best idea. And we've sucked, like, aspiration and skills from some of them as well. Um, but maybe, maybe we'll just come up here and sex more out. <laughs> we will have to see. Did Amanda do her homework or not? I keep calling her Amanda Rose. She is 0% done. Aw, she's literally me. Alright, how many? Okay, you're gonna have to wait, Lucy. Do you want to get paid, Lucy? Okay, then we need to go make some simoleons. I'm sorry. Everything's clean. Alright, see ya. Alright, I think we're going to make this last one and then we'll head out. Or, uh, I don't know, I feel like we need a lot. kind of want to stock up and just make a ton of them. And Amanda's up here. Okay, I'm not leaving her up here with just uh, Shannon and Kaylin and whoever Lily do. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, they give me some bad, some bad mojo vibes. So come back down here and <laughs> continue your homework. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and finish this up really quickly. Okay, I guess Rose is just not gonna do her homework today. She can do it Sunday, I guess. <laughs> I'm not gonna force her to do it. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna wrap this up very shortly because we do need to head there. Okay, um, so this was what happens when I want to wrap something up. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, so the fireman's already here. Um, yeah, how about you come upstairs? I have a child who's literally up in the burning building. If you could hurry up. Uh, I'd appreciate it. I love how Amanda runs outside and leaves Rose up there. Wow. Okay. Thanks. I'm gonna go get my cheesecake now. Gotta run! Please be more careful next time! Bye! Hey, stranger. I thought you might have been abducted by aliens or something since I don't hear from you anymore. I gotta go. Um, Brittany? Stop calling. Okay, go get the cheesecake before another fire starts. Oh, it's a burnt cheesecake. Yummy! My favorite! Yay! We're gonna go ahead and uh, go take a shower really quickly. And we are pretty tired. Ugh! It's already 5 p.m. Oh, you know what? We'll go in Sunday. That's a good plan, right? Sunday fun day. <laughs> Yay. Saturday fire day. Yay. We'll put that one away as leftovers. We can, um, you know, when we have guests over, pull out the uh, burnt cheesecake. They'll enjoy it, I'm sure. How about that burnt muffin, hmm? Maybe we'll pull one of those out, too. And Don is home from work. Lovely. And nobody's running up to him. Literally, once again, me. Holy crap. Everything is me in this game. It's all full of mistakes and fails. Uh, um. What is that? <laughs> what is this letter? Hold up. Who is this from? I feel like this is from Brittany. Is it the same thing? Oh, it's from Dawn from their date. Cool. Dear Amanda, I had fun. I hope you know that dating you was good. And if you wonder, should I ask again? I say you should. Love, Dawn. Okay, um, that was nice of you, Dawn, but you live in the same building. You live in the same house. And you even put a picture of yourself on the card. How lovely. Oh, and he's really tired, so I'm going to have him go use the toilet and sleep until about... Okay, um, true. He's going to go sleep in Rose's bed instead. I'm probably going to have him rest up until 9 p.m. or so. Uh, and then we're going to head out. We just need a little bit of energy. 
we're just gonna go do what we gotta do and then call it a night Alrighty, guys i will see you very Alrighty, shortly guys and here we are once again <laughs> and we are going to try to propose to amanda today uh, we're gonna blow her a kiss we are going to caress her hands and hopefully she will uh fall for it which i'm sure she will time is running out all right so we're gonna go ahead and do a surprise engagement she loves it all right so we are now engaged which is pretty exciting um so yeah i hope you guys oh my gosh dawn i get it you're a romance sim you're a casanova you want a lot of girls but are you kidding me this is amanda lopez get it right she is worth all this she is worth it what a jerk let's see uh i don't know if this was a really good idea for a sim like me broke up with cassandra oh no i thought we were going to tie the knot but it looks like i've been cut loose instead it was for the best honestly but now he's kind of mad what the hell what did i forget about this or something oh you did not have an affair with Brittany. you flirted with her you did not have an affair with her come you did not have an affair with Brittany. you need to relax with all of that dawn Hot rose and nursery rhyme, aww. Was he excited about... Oh my gosh! Had very first woohoo with Amanda. Had an affair with Amanda. Dawn, what is wrong with you? Had an affair with Kaylin. Got engaged to Cassandra. He was not happy about that one either. Well, I mean, he is a Casanova romance sim, so it would make sense, but still kind of sad. <laughs> And how close are we actually? Oh, I can't check here. That sucks. I'm trying to order. Can we can we get our food? It's already like 2 a.m. So if we could eat, that would really be awesome. Oh, it's the weather is just so amazing today. I really really love it. All right. Um, it looks like we're not eating tonight. Because I've clicked order so many times now that it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, okay, there we go. Order for all. That would make more sense. Some lobster thermidor. Yes, I'm sorry that I uh, blamed you, Mr. Ricky Cody. So, yep, let's see. What can we do to make it a dream date? Play with Amanda. Tell a joke to Amanda. Talk to Amanda. Entertain Amanda. We can definitely entertain her by doing a toast to her. And here's our lovely lobster. Okay, I guess we're not gonna toast to her. We're just gonna eat all the food. I would do it too. All right, cool. I'm happy that they're at least, you know, engaged now. We're gonna try to make this a great date or a dream date at least. I want a dream date, I really do. Have a dream date with Amanda. See, now he wants to marry her. Aww. Let's make out with her as well. Alright, cool. She wants to entertain Don, so we will go ahead and toast to him. Okay, we're so close to making a, a freaking dream date here. What can else? What, I can't even speak. What else can we do? We can make out with him. Okay, we're going to. Forget the food. Just make out. Forget the food. We will pay the bill. And make out with Dawn. They're like, we should probably do this outside just to make it a little bit more appropriate. The people in the restaurant are probably like, why are they walking out? Hey, oh, this restaurant has roaches! This restaurant has roaches! Oh, I should call them out. Sorry. Sorry. Hard. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I should call them out. I should call the freaking oh it is a dream date never mind but yeah like i was saying we should call somebody about this because that is not okay but it's a dream date yeah i love it we're gonna go ahead and um 
call a taxi and go home. So yeah, guys, I will see you all in the morning, I guess. Alrighty, guys, and good morning. Once again, Dawn has work, unfortunately, but, you know, that makes a perfect excuse to go ahead and head to the bakery with the Rose, and here she is <laughs> having some fun this morning. But uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys while we were at the restaurant, which unfortunately I couldn't, is that I want to purchase our... Well, yeah, purchase with our aspiration reward points, the elixir of life. So, <laughs> pretty much, uh, this is like a elixir to make you younger. Uh, you just take a lot of gulps of it, and it will bring your age back, which Dawn and Amanda both need. So he's currently at twenty six thousand, and she is at twenty two because we did buy some things and all of that. But once we get married, we will have enough to do so. If we max out our enthusiasm with food, we can also do that and all of that jazz. So that's one thing that we definitely want to do. I also had Rose do most of her homework. How much left does she have? Uh, a little bit more, which she will definitely be doing today. Oh, Don didn't have time to shower. Oh, well, he's going to go be an intern that smells like assholio. That's cool, though. We're going to go take a shower really quickly. Oh, and Rose is kind of tired. So is not Amanda. Ugh. All right. Well, we'll take a nap really quickly because they were kind of up all night. But let's take a quick nap. We won't be at the bakery for too long anyways. I say that now. We'll probably be there all day. Alrighty, guys, so we're gonna go. Okay, and we know Cassandra Goth has been here because she kicked over our trash can. I am sure of it. She's so nasty. Let's go ahead and do, 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 do. Call taxi and head on out with Rose. Alrighty, guys, I will see you at the bakery. Alrighty, so here we are this morning uh, just restocking stuff. And oh, cool. We have like no more of anything. Uh, we don't need these anymore so we're just gonna go ahead and sell them all and we will put our lovely berry pies or cheesecakes actually not berry pies up for display we made a lot of them so hopefully oh is that a burnt one? Oh well they'll have to eat it anyways just go ahead and put them all on display we even put some right here all right cool so we have a lot of berry pies to sell we are going to go ahead and open up for the day where's our sign i forget i forget where everything is here how do i do it i forget okay and i forget oh my gosh i forget everything don't i holy crap we can only make toaster pastries that's kind of lame no that's pretty lame what is that can i just sell it all or not i guess not where the heck is my open sign I have not played in here for a really long time so I do not remember okay true <laughs> oh there it is I'm over here like I guess I'll buy a new one well first let's call on our employees I'm too tired to come into work right now let me rest a bit longer what are you talking about you have like two months are you kidding me I guess we'll just go open the business and do it ourselves. And let's go ahead and put these all for sale. And they will be average. We don't want to make it too overpriced and we don't have a reputation of this place being fantastic. Go ahead and click, click, click. All right, cool. Let's see. What is our reputation here? <laughs> all right, it's okay. Actually, yeah, apparently a lot of people hate us. Okay, great. We're rank zero. That's what I like to hear. Oh, and we have cockroaches. Even grosser. Where did it? Where did it? Oh, come on. Okay, first of all, can you get out of there, Rose? I don't want you getting sick. <laughs> so we're going to go over here and spray them. No, go spray those. All right. And, oh, we have some customers. We're going to come over here and try to sell it to everybody. All right, I, I love how Rose is over here, like, crying. Well, just know that Mommy and Daddy might not have the cutest and cleanest little bakery, but if it pays for the house we live in, then that's all that matters. Oh, and somebody did buy one. Awesome. We'll try to sell it to you again. How about you and your funky hair? Do you want some berry pie? 
Playboy, or cheesecake. I keep calling it berry pie, but it's cheesecake. How about you, sir? That's right. We'll go be a cashier now. <laughs> oh, I th oh, he's reviewing us. All right. So when you see somebody here writing notes, you definitely, definitely want to make sure that they are feeling the store and all of that. So I forget how to do this, but I'm pretty sure in here there's something. If he was lost or anything like that, you could be like, hey, can I help you? But he looks like he's doing just fine. So we're going to go ahead and ring these customers up. So he is evaluating our store. As you can see right here, he's like, where am I? I'm just going to see if I can help him really quickly. If you could hurry up, Amanda, that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, Amanda. No, go, go help him before you ring this guy up. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. You're going to have to wait a second. All right. No, 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 no. Amanda, do not be rude. Okay, you need to stop stomping your feet. All right, cool. Oh, and he spent like 200 simoleons. How awesome is he? We're going to basic sell it to him. We are going to basic sell it to her. Whatever, if that girl didn't want to come in for her job today, then no biggie. We can do it ourselves. Come on, girl, buy that berry pie. Oh, we have to pee. Okay, um, Rose, go sleep on the frickin- Go, go out there, go play, go play. I cannot with you right now, go play. Oh, look, he's lost now. Ugh. Maybe we do need somebody. Jesus, he like screamed at Rose to get out. Okay. How lovely. All right, so she's going to go help him out, show him a item. Good job. We've actually been here for quite a while. We're going to go use the toilet. Probably close up soon. I know it's not really a full day of working, especially... Okay, it's the good witch. I thought it was the bad witch. We were about to have problems. I know, Rose. You're tired. You're tired. Go relax. We're going to be leaving soon. We're just going to try to wrap up these customers and call it a day. Okay, we're going to go ahead and ring up these customers. Hopefully soon we can rank up on our cashier level because we are really bad at checking customers out. Like, we know nothing about anything. All right, come on. Um, set waged, overpaid. Uh, I guess so, that's fine. Oh, we're about to have our business rewarded. How freaking awesome. I've been investigating your business, and I think it is top-notch. I'm writing a good review to tell others about your fantastic establishment. Yes, that is right. How awesome. And we only worked, only we worked today, so that makes it all the better. That makes me very happy. And I love how she's talking to the good witch. Maybe we can make her witch when she gets older. Ooh, we'll just chat up with her. All right, and he's going to be our last customer of the day. Sorry, girl, but we're closing the business because our kid is really tired. All right, cool. So we actually made some simoleons today. I'm very, very impressed. And we even got rewarded. I don't think we got a uh, anything too cool. Nope. Okay, do we have double blackies in here? Do we have double blackies? Oh, We're going to have to go to the house and see if we can pull another blackie out of our inventory because we might just have blackies for days. All right, everybody, we're going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, in the next part, we're probably going to focus a little bit more on the bakery because it is our income. We spent like 38,000 simoleons on this place. So if we can get more simoleons rolling into it so we can get a new house and make our establishment a little bit better, that's, you know, of course, fantastic. So, yeah, I will see you all in the next part. Bye, and everybody. Forget, I freaking love you guys. All right, that was a little creepy, but that just had to be said. Bye, guys.